welcome back to the whiskey couch this is the place where we can't wait for the next opportunity to experiment with whiskey and food and we're going to do that in this video again so your hosts south africa's whiskey couple gustav and elna and you are watching whiskey tasting and food pairing review number 271 are you very happy, Elna? I am very happy. Is this a good day for it you? It is a good day. And the Always reason, the reason because Red Breast, one of her favorite brands. So in the previous video, we reviewed the Red Breast Listeo, and now we're going to look at the Red Breast Cask Strength. This is just so exciting. Red Breast, of course, bottled for the first time in Ireland, 1903. It is produced at the Middleton Distillery and it is owned by Irish distillers. Irish triple distilled single pot still whiskey. Interesting stuff. And this is the cask strength one. And it is batch because they do this in batches, batch 219 you can see that in the top corner there just next to the red breast robin this is the batch so it is the the most recent one i think i got this in ireland it's not so readily available in south africa and it's single pot still which means malted and unmalted barley and this one matured cost strength matured in Bourbon seasoned American oak casks and Oloroso sherry seasoned Spanish oak casks. Well, and it's got an ABV of 55.8%. Natural everything, color non chill filtered, and I am expecting something complex because of the yes. maturation process, yes. because of the casks involved, because of the malted, unmalted barley. So here we go color. I would say deep copper. Deep copper color. Deep copper, yeah. Let's see if I can get some whiskey on the glass so that we can create some legs, perhaps. Yep, they're beginning to take shape there. They're beginning to drizzle to the bottom. It's taking quite a while. Yes. Which is perhaps an indication that the viscosity is quite high. Which means that it will be a a chewy. It'll it'll give it a chewy effect. Okay. So on the nose, here we go. Slonger. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Wow. I would say light sherry. And if I must be honest, the nose is not as good as the Listeo that we did in the That's previous true. video. That's true. I'm getting That's a true. whiff of alcohol because of the high ABV. I'm getting raisins from the sherry cost. I'm getting citrus from the... I get dried fruit. American oak. Mm. Vanilla. Wood. Barley. And if you drew the drop in the palm taste... A drop of dram in your palm, rub it fiercely to get the alcohol to evaporate. Then you are left with something that I would not have expected. It's only a whiff of a, a slight hint of fresh raisin bread. I would have expected okay. something more. Oh, well, mm. yes. So that was quite interesting. So here we go on the palate. Powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. Very, very rich vanilla. 55.8%. Mm. So you can feel that. It's, it's got a punch. It's, a well. it's got a well, yeah. And you said? Very rich vanilla. And also creamy. Yeah, definitely creamy. Sweet. Mm. Full-bodied. But, Butter biscuits. But I also get the fruit. There's also fruit. Very fruity, toasted oak, and then finishing off in all spice and just a hint of pepper too. Oh yeah, yeah, I get the pepper as well, but but very very mm. very mild, not pepper. overly no. overly so. 
What a nice, the finish for me is sweet with tropical fruits. Okay, I agree with that one and uh, it's medium long. I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't describe it as a, a extremely long finish, no. but definitely not short. No. No. It's, it's medium, but towards the long, mm. the long end. And as I sit here, I'm getting some butterscotch sauce and some barley and oak fruits and nuts. The mixed fruits and nuts. It's just lovely. Mm. Mm. With honey, dripped with honey. Mm. Fruits and nuts, yes. honey. So it's quite complex. There's quite a lot going on. And we're putting quite a few drops of water. 55.8. Let's see if it opens up mm. a bit more. Empty glass test. Once you've finished and you leave your glass for a couple of hours, you're left with a very dark sherry malt aroma and some freshly ground coffee beans hmm. uh, in between. So the empty glass test leaves you with almost a lot more that you th than hmm. I wouldn't have, ex I expected, wouldn't have that, expected yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I would have expected something like the drop in the palm, you know, just as sort of a hint. But I was quite surprised. Some dark aromas in the empty glass, which is an indication for me of non chill filtering. So, after a few drops of water, now the legs are quite in a hurry. Legs everywhere. On the nose. I get butterscotch over dried fruit. Almost as if dried fruit were cooked in butterscotch sauce. And on the palate, yes. oh, this is fantastic! Mm. Creamy apricot dessert drizzled with sherry. The sherry is, is emerging stronger and stronger. Initially, it was more fruity yes. um, than sherry. Mm -hmm. But as, as it develops and as you take this journey with this dram, the, the sherry seems to be coming to the, yeah, it's more prominent. to the surface, you know, letting itself known. I'm here, I'm here. And that's what makes it, 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 it's a multi-dimensional Mm. Dram. Mm. It's it's not boring at all. Oh no, definitely it develops. Not. Definitely not. The price, if you can get this in South Africa, this is also a European bottle because it's seven hundred milliliters. The, it's quite expensive. Twelve years old. Um, I bought this in Europe, and if I remember correctly, it was about sixty pounds. Um, which is not that not that bad, in fact. But it depends on where you buy it, of course, whether online or so. So um, on the expensive side, but definitely worth it. Oh yes, oh yes, definitely Always. worth it. So Always. if I have the money, and I have to choose, this will be one of my choices. I agree. I agree. Look at this. Now, this looks very inviting. Food pairing. After this video, we are going to do the Napo Castle. Cask Strength Irish Single Malt and we're going to compare in yes. the next video. So we decided to go with Fruity Cheese and Salami Cigars. There we go. Fruity Cheese and Salami Cigars. I've cut this one in half so that we can both have a piece. But it, this is what it looks like. Fruity Cheese and Salami Cigars. So I've got a cheese inside here. There are some fruit and what we could get our hands on is mascarpone cheese with figs. Mm. Mm. Um, so the sweetness is there to connect with this whiskey, but the oiliness of the, the fattiness mm. of the salami is going to connect with the full bodied oiliness of the single pot still characteristic in that glass. Yeah. One warning, never get a salami that's spicy. Oh, yeah. Get a mild salami. You need a mild More salami, neutral. otherwise it's going to overpower yeah. everything. There you go. You've got the Thank port you. with a fig. Yes. With a fig in there. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. <laughs> a wonderful <laughs> snack.
I don't have words. Do you have words to describe this? The words sort of escape me yeah. to describe no, it. I can only say it's an absolute wow. I don't often give mm. 10 out of 10 or 5 out of 5 for a pairing. But I'm inclined to do it this time around. And I agree with you. I'm telling you this. I agree with you 100%. No, this is absolutely a wow. Another old, one. Old trusted friend. <laughs> Look at this. This is the old one. This is the new cask strength. This is the older an older batch cask strength. So this cask strength, 12 years cask strength, batch 114. So it's printed there in the little circle, batch 114. And I was just wondering, I've poured the glass, I've added a few drops of water, I've let it stand for a bit. So, Elna, what shall we do? Shall we compare the two? There's a color difference. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. The older yeah. batch 114 is darker than the yeah. latest one, yeah. which is 219. Yeah. So, would you do the honors and give it the nose? And, and let's see, is there a batch difference? In the nose there. Fruity, less sherry, sherry develops. It was quite sweet. Oh, I would definitely say much more sherry, much more mm -hmm. prominent sherry. What about the palate? Nose. What is the taste profile like? 219 versus 114. Hmm. There's also a design difference. The whole red breast has been given a facelift. I would say this one is more full-bodied. It's darker. It's, it's definitely it, darker. It, it, the sherry is darker, and and the, the and, and it's the much lighter. Lighter. Mm. The latest batch, it's lighter. And then definitely. on the palate, sherry, definitely sherry, but the the sweetness is not overwhelmed. It's more. Um, it's a dark sweetness. Smooth. It's more smooth. And it's darker, and it it develops quicker into a Christmas spice balance. Yes. This one took longer. Yes. The later batch was sweeter and it took longer, longer to, to get, get the in. spicy bit and then it was just a, a, a light spiciness. This is darker but more spicy. Yes. But also, I would also say medium long finish. Yes. It's not that it's that much longer. Both of them have a medium This is so finish. interesting. The older batch, which is now the glass and the bottle there, leans towards sherry bomb. Yes, yes. This one does it's not. much lighter. This lighter is a sherry fruit bomb, bomb but yes. not sherry bomb. Not sherry is. as in... Um, so which one do you prefer? The lighter oh, batch no. or the previous batch? Don't ask me that question always. Is it, are we it's with like the children again? We are again? with the children again, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it depends okay. on what we can get hold of, which red breast. The one we drink is the one I prefer. And these are the two gift boxes here behind. Also a big difference. Older batch, newer batch. Next time, Napo Castle. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, Slanger.